We now introduce you to the teaching ministry of Pastor Joseph Kansima. Pastor Kansima is a man of God who teaches the Word of God in simplicity but with great impact. There is the truth of financial prosperity. It is there. Uh, financial prosperity. You can be born again, but that truth is not revealed to you. You cannot enter in. There is the truth about victory over demons. Walking above the powers of the enemy. Walking in victory. Being above demonic forces. It is not just being born again. You can be born Born again, I can be born again, but under demonic oppression night and day. That's why people travel from South Africa, they go to Zambia, they go to Nigeria, they go to Ghana, they go to Malawi. All they want to go is hey, something is on top of my head. This thing has been on top of my head now 10 years. Why don't you get rid of it? <laughs> Because the Bible is saying, I have given you, not them, <laughs> you, me, I have given you power over all the power of the enemy. Why are you carrying this thing on top of your head or in your stomach when you have power? It is because in that area, you have not received the illumination. That's why family Please listen to Pastor Kansema. He's a loving man. When you are challenged that you are blind yet, don't get it personal. Some of you get very angry. You get angry. Very angry. Very angry. I know some people who get very angry when they are broke. And you, you tell them, believe God for money. Say, nobody have been believing God for money. You guys are not helping you. I, the Bible does not say go and look for help says believe God for money they get very angry very very angry and of course we have to help one another but you see revelation the rev if you don't receive the revelation in that area you are stuck okay let's go to the book of Matthew Matthew chapter Matthew chapter oh good Bishop Ben Adams God bless you God bless you man of God okay Matthew chapter 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 13 going to read Matthew chapter 13 we're talking about why Christians get sick and remain sick remember this there's no incurable disease any sickness must be healed must be healed okay I'm reading verse 15 verse 15 says for these people's hearts are waxed cross and their ears are dull of hearing their eyes they have closed least at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and they should understand with their hearts and I should be converted and I heal them these people cannot be healed why they are spiritual eyes blind spiritual ears deaf the heart cannot comprehend and God says you know what before you see before you hear before you perceive I can't heal you because it requires revelation that is the revelation that brings faith let me sum up what i'm preaching please listen to me and love me because i love you too it is very clear in the bible that whosoever believes can be saved because jesus paid the price it is the same thing whosoever believes can be healed healing is provided for just as salvation there's no difference there's no difference there's no difference healing is not a bonus for salvation healing is part and parcel of salvation it is like oxtail and gravy. Is it gravy or soup? It, when you add oxtail, in fact, the gravy is what makes oxtail, oxtail. You can't say, I have oxtail, should I also use the gravy? It is yours. It is, oh, once you pay the price, it is together. It is together. So salvation, in fact, in the Greek language, the word salvation is one, zozo. 
That word is used for giving your life to Christ, for deliverance, and for healing. You are zozoed, if, I, if there's a language like that. So, once you believe that, you know the way you are passionate that whosoever can give his or her life to Christ can be saved because the price is paid. The way you are sure, and I'm sure of that, that no person who can give his life to Christ are by faith and cannot be saved because the price is paid. You must be sure that way that whosoever believes in it, in the gospel of healing can be healed because healing has been bought. He has been provided for. So if we are not getting healed, let us check the same way we see people not getting saved. They don't get saved because they have not heard. In other words, now I'm giving you solutions. Solutions. Solution number one. You must reach a point where I say, oh, it means I have not heard the gospel of healing. <laughs> Just say that. Just say that. Just say that. And then you make up your mind. I'm going to hear it. That's why when we are telling you, listen to the teachings on healing. Is that not that we are forcing you? It's not only me. Look for preachers who speak in healing, who teach healing. It's a gospel. It is a gospel. Just as salvation, just as prosperity. You have to say, I am going to hear the gospel of healing until I get the revelation. That's the beginning. If you are still arguing, you are still saying, no, I'm okay. I know I'm doing. Man, you may go early. Earlier than you are supposed to. Or stay long but in pain. And yet the gospel is there. Same thing. There are people who have remained in sin and they die and go to hell when the price for salvation has been paid. It's the same thing. The problem, they have not heard the gospel. What is my, my encouragement to you? Hear the gospel. Give yourself to healing. I don't know how many books I have read on healing because I wanted to hear this gospel. I don't know how many messages I've, read, I've listened to on healing. I wanted to hear this gospel. I wanted to hear. That's where we miss. Number two, I said some people hear the word preached, but a wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. There are many people who are in religious churches who are so serious in what they are doing, but they are not saved because they are hearing the, law, the wrong gospel. My next advice to you, you must ask yourself, have I been hearing the right gospel on healing? If I have been hearing the right gospel on healing, why am I not produce? produce why am i not producing healing i'm not producing healing why you ask that question is this the right gospel you are entitled to evaluate what you hear pastor Kansema. but is it true that you cannot be sick yes you can my, myself symptoms come into my body it's true it's true they come if they stay in for three five hours one day it's a miracle i kick them out but it never just happened i heard the gospel of healing believed it and I know how to walk in it divine health comes by the revelation of divine health number three I said you could be in the place where divine healing is preached but your spiritual mind is blocked you cannot comprehend you are blinded what do you do go into prayer and seeking Talk to the Holy Spirit. Go to the Word. Holy Spirit, reveal to me the healing, the healing message. Let me get the healing, uh, the healing revelation. You pray. The Bible tells you and me to seek the Lord. Seek the Lord where he may be found. It takes seeking. It takes zeroing in. Zero in. Father, I see on the left, people are getting healed. On the right, people are getting healed. Why not me? And I zero in. You zero in the Bible. You zero in two books. You zero in two prayer. Until a day comes, a revelation comes. It's like night has just gone. It works like that. It works like that.
I used to be surprised when somebody tells me that I was believing God for 10,000 runs and I got it. I, how do you do that? I was getting, and I thought they are lying. <laughs> I thought they are lying. I really thought they are lying. I thought they are lying because I tried to believe God for two rand, two rand. It never came, never came, never came. Tried to believe God for 10 rand, it never came. And somebody will say, we are praying and we believed God. We just told God we are, going, we are believing you for, for 10,000 rand. By then, 10,000 rand to me was a billion. And I'm looking at them and say, they are lying. These people are lying. They just have people who give them. That's what I was thinking. But I began to zero in, zero in. And I realized I can intentionally believe God for 10,000 and 10,000 comes. I can intentionally believe God for this amount of money and it comes. It is, I can intentionally plant a seed. I realize, you know, I used to get scared. My pastor, my pastor used to scare me to give a person a car. He tells me, Joseph, take this car. I'm giving it to Pastor so and so. I say, what? Can you no more? You no more, you give a car? A car? My, my, the revelation was not there. But one day, it is like my mind opened. Boom! Joseph, if you want to be blessed, give big. I said, man, but not a car. God says, yeah, the higher you go, the more you receive. Now, you see, I can, I can give a car, just wake up and say, come and take the car. And I'm smiling. It's a revelation. It's not anything else. So go to go into revelations. It is a revelation. So for your eyes, for our eyes to open. It is not only in healing. It's not only in giving. Many areas, many, many years ago, we used to run away from demons. Demons. When people begin to, until I was seeking, seeking, a day came, my eyes opened, bar, And the truth was, you have been erased together with Christ. And you are seated far above all principality. I should Shook myself and men can say, my, you are seated far above all principalities and powers, far above all dominion, far above all might. My God, all the devils, I'm far. By that time, I got independent from any demon. If you are a demon, you, <laughs> you will die if you come to my house tonight. You will die because I got a revelation of far above. But you see, friends, you can be born again and be tortured by the devil every night. Nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with us. It's because we haven't got the revelation in that area. So, you go or we go into revelation digging. God, give, open my eyes. Open my heart. Give me the understanding. And this does not come by Roman Catholic prayer. It comes with it. Digging in, digging in. Letting go every hindrance and say, God, I will seek you. I will seek you until my eyes open. Sometimes it's not by praying only. It's by seeking to people, for listening to people who preach this truth. Listening to them. There's a preacher who preaches very powerful messages on prosperity and healing. I have over 300 messages from him. I, not, not just put here. I listen to them. I can tell you this, friends. There is no day, no day, no day. Come on, say no day. That ever passes, I don't listen to healing and the faith message. There's no day. Sometimes I listen to three, four, five messages. Why? I want to keep my spirit in that area with light. You can be healed, friends. You can walk in victory because Jesus already paid the price. And of course, I am not preaching for you to feel belittled, feel young. I'm provoking you to understand that salvation and healing are yours. You can walk in them, but it will take you evaluating yourself and it take the right path. Okay, now. We're going to be doing our healing services. We will let you know. Follow us. Follow us. It will help you. And I'm not saying I'm the only 
preacher who preach faith and healing. There are many, but it's up to you to understand healing is my portion. Sickness is not my portion because Jesus already paid the price. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your hand. Lift up your hand to the Lord. Say, Father God, I want to thank you for this message. I declare that healing is my portion. Healing is my portion. There is no sickness that cannot be healed. Just as there is no sin that cannot be forgiven. Father, there is no sinner who can hear the gospel of salvation, repent, and fail to be saved. In the same way, there is no sick person with any kind of sickness or disease who can hear, comprehend the gospel of healing and cannot be healed. I declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, there is no sickness in my body that cannot be healed. Just like there is no sin in my life that cannot be forgiven. Because the price of, of Calvary covered my sins, my sicknesses, and diseases. Jesus paid the price. Holy Spirit, I'm praying that somebody hearing this message will be provoked and get angry. Get angry with the devil. That the devil cannot be tormenting him or her. Because the price has been paid. I want to declare the same way you opened our eyes to salvation. The same way you gave us the revelation for salvation. I'm praying Jehovah Elohim. Give us the re revelation for healing. Give us the revelation for divine health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah Elohim. I want to thank you tonight. That the devil will not blind our eyes. God, we shall be saved from sickness as we are saved from sin. Not by anything else, but by the power of the cross. And as we get the revelation, I want to thank you, Jehovah Elohim. I give you honor and I give you glory in Jesus' name. Pastor Kanzema is provoking you, provoking you to anger. Get angry and say the price is paid. Just as I'm not going to allow the devil take me to hell, I'm born again. I'm not going to allow the devil torment me with the sickness and disease. The price is paid. Friends, it requires that anger. And you go in until your eyes are open. Then you shall enjoy divine health because it is already yours purchased by the son of God. He bore our sicknesses and diseases just as he bore our sins. Salvation includes healing. May I pray for you. Father, I pray for the person listening this evening that Jehovah Elohim, you will provoke them. They will not believe the lies. They will refuse to believe any wrong gospel that condones pain. That my God says you are, you, are, you are learning. That says God is teaching you. My God, those lies of the devil. But they will look in the face of the devil that I cannot learn from sickness and disease because Jesus paid for my sickness and disease just like I cannot learn from sin. I cannot learn from sickness. Lord, I want to thank you for somebody receiving the revelation in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, and I give you honor and all the glory and every saint say, Amen and Amen and Amen.